former presidential aide, Reno Mokre has revealed the secrets of the success of the Igbo tribe of Nigeria under any bad economy. This comes as the country swung into its worst ever recession in 36 years. According to data from the MBS and World Bank, the country's gross domestic products contracted for the second consecutive quarter since the recession of 2016, the worst since 1987 when GDP declined by 10.8%. Experts have cited the COVID-19 pandemic as one of the major reasons for the plunge, including the hashtag answers violence, which some blamed as well. Meanwhile, Omar Cray revealed that the Igbos always prospered no matter how bad an economy is because of their reliance on their productivity. He also added that they are able to thrive under bad weather because their prosperity is not tied to oil, which is the country's major source of revenue or the government's. The secret to that, Omokri said, is their resilience. No matter how bad the economy, Igbos always prosper. What is the secret of their resilience? Where they are, wherever they are, their prosperity is not tied to oil or government, but to their productivity. Igbo are prosumers who produce so more than they consume. No matter how bad the economy, Igbos always prosper. And what is the secret? It said they are resilient. Wherever they are, they, their prosperity is not tied to oil or government, but to their productivity. Igbo are prosumers who produce more than what they consume. Hmm. So guys, do you really agree with what uh, Reno Mokre has said? And it really baffles me. That's it. It really baffles me. You can imagine this man came out uh, this morning or yesterday or so, Erufai, blaming the, the northern youth that they are lazy, that with all the privilege they have, all the privileges they have, opportunity they still try to lower some things so that they'll be able to meet up. But even at that, they are not making use of those opportunities. They are so lazy according to what he said. And these are the same people who are always bragging. And unfortunately, some people from other regions, they will be using them as a yardstick that, oh, these people, they support, they don't, they don't criticize their government, they don't do this, they don't do that, and they, are, they, are, they have been in power. Oh, some people don't know how to play politics. And those who know how to play politics, you can see how they have played their politics, with the, they've played politics with the lives of their people, yet... In terms of education, they are not there. They are not even doing anything. So of what use is that uh, policies they are playing with their lives? Some people from the Southwest, they will be bragging. They will say, oh, you go people, they don't know how to play policies. You don't know that you are being deceived. All these politicians are deceiving you. It is not policies because if you check those who are talking about policies or appointments here and there, they are all enjoying. They are not struggle to feed themselves or to pay their children's school fees or to pay their bills. They are not they are not in that category. But you that you are defending them, check those of those of the people who have been who have been marginalized, you know, when it comes to appointments. And you yourself, the people from the north, the people from the, the south altogether, check the people and see how people are pros uh, uh, prospering. They're exactly what Serena Mokra has said. They don't even depend on all those uh, policies. You that you are playing policies, how has your life improved? You, you're, you think your people are playing policies, but they are playing policies with your life. And you think that is how politics is supposed to be played. You'll be defending them. How many people have they been able to remove from poverty? Then they will come and tell you that, uh, oh, uh, Tinubu removed this person. Oh, they made this person. He made this person. He, you know, I don't understand. It, 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 they are not even up to 0.2% of the people he was. Just fix, he can just count them. I don't even up to 10. He just fix them so that they will be loyal to him. He, do you think he's just helping them? Why is it that the standard of the living of the people, of course, especially when they talk about a Yoruba land, they talk about a Wolowa, what he did, they are trying to compare him. Then tell me, how has been, what, what has it, this, what has been, has he contributed to the lives of the people? Is it, well, I don't, I don't understand. That people will be saying, oh yes, they know how to play policies. Exactly the same thing happening in the north. They are even, they are worse off. They are worse off. You can argue it from not it eternity, but that is just the reality. They don't depend on government. They don't depend on any politicians or whatever. But they are doing their own thing. But you guys that know how to play policies because you don't know what you are talking about. How is your life? See see, see the standard of living. You can't compare the standard of living of these uh, egos to other other people. You see that they are, they, they, they are, you know, they, they are so industrious. And you say you are playing policies and those people are using your, you are using your, 
just like we always say, they're using your head and you say, yes, all of them that they have given appointments, tell me they are the ones enjoying it with their children. That's it. Their children will go as brothers to go to school. They will come back, they'll fix them in all those offices. They are the ones, they, they fix themselves. You will talk about a CBN, what is it called? CBN employment. Before you know, they'll put their people there. NMPC, the same thing. And you say they know how to play policies. Of course, they play policies to benefit their own children. But where are you? You are on the street, coming on social media, defending them. Their children cannot even defend them. You that you are defending them. What is, what what is the quality of uh, this, of the standard of your you know standard living of your of your this thing? What is the quality? What kind of quality can you even rate your standard of living? Just to be there, to be supporting them, to be defending them all over social media. God will help all of you. All of us we are in all this in this together. Stop defending these people. Stop depend, def, uh, defending them. Say, Erufa is tired now. He's not calling the people lazy. The northerners, the youth, he's calling them lazy. They are, they are lazy. Well, Igbo believe in focus, determination, and they work to achieve aim. Igbo believe in competition so they can also see their last breath. COVID-19 recession, bad economy, it is not our business. Our business is making money. Haters Continue. When you knew whom you are and where you are going and you are and you want to be, it makes the massive difference. That is why ego. That is ego for you. Forward ever, backward never. It is the laws doing, irrespective of the humiliations we are getting from Yoruba and Buari led administration. See, we are moving ahead of every other tribe. Lord is in control. They are the Africa Jew. So right now, more crisis prosperity is tied to oil. No wonder he's not prospering after his master left office. Okay, how do you know he's not prosperous? Check his assets and bank account. Why we focus on our business is because Nigeria doesn't want to move forward. People who are non Igbos are asking the Igbos to show them the secrets of their ability, even as the way they claim that they know how to play politics. But you go and see those who are playing the politics. They are very, very rich and you are defending them. I will continue to say you are defending them. What is your life? You are defending those who do not even care about you, who do not even know whether you are existing in the first place. So it's unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. If they are going to learn, they will not still learn. Somebody raised um, a, a concern that the money the IGR, the Lagos is getting, is not even reflecting in the lives of the people. And that is it. It's not reflecting. And some people are saying, oh, why would the man say that? You are jealous of this. Oh, my goodness. You are jealous of this. You are jealous of that. Now, so now good day. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on what Reno has said.